Most garden flowers are either annuals or perennials. Ever wonder what the difference is? Let's make sense of it with science. Or more precisely, in this backyard. But we won't be tiptoeing through the tulips today. No, we'll take a high-speed journey through one full season in the lives of two flowering plants. This yellow marigold, which is an annual, and this orange daylily, a perennial, starting now. Okay, it's springtime, and our plants are still just tiny green shoots. Our annual, the marigold, comes from a brand new seed planted just weeks earlier by a thoughtful gardener. However, our daylily, the perennial, toughed it out all winter underground. As summer arrives, our fine-petaled friends are both in glorious bloom, but with one very important difference. Our marigold, the annual, is busy making seeds, lots and lots of seeds, while our daylily, the perennial, would rather just relax, making very few seeds and storing up its energy. Then one day, fall arrives, and our marigold is exhausted from all that seed making. And as its growing season comes to an end, so does our marigold, saying farewell forever. Our daylily, on the other hand, may appear to be shriveling on the outside, but underground its roots are still alive and well. So even though its petals may fall, our daylily will be back again next year. That's because perennials live for at least three years, while annuals, they only live for one bloom a year. We appreciate your budding interest in flowers. It all makes sense with science. This has been presented by Bayer Corporation's National Education Program, making science make sense.